Fox 13 News at 9. There is inherent danger for free skiers, but it's still surprising when high caliber athletes get hurt or worse. World class free skier Sarah Burke died today, nine days after a fall at Park City Mountain Resort. Fox 13's Jer Bates joins us in studio with her story. Jer. Now, Bob and Hope Sarah was a Canadian native, but she was admired, respected, and loved all around the world. The ski community in Park City adopted Burke as one of their own, and tonight they're struggling to deal with their painful loss. This is just a huge blow. Um, Sarah was such a phenomenal person and really a pioneer in the sport of uh, free skiing and especially half pipe skiing for women and um, she's going to be missed very sorely. Nine days ago, Burke suffered severe injuries during a half pipe training run in Park City. The accident resulted in a torn vertebral artery that led to cardiac arrest. Ultimately, it was the lack of oxygen and blood to her brain, not a traumatic brain injury that caused Sarah to pass away. A statement released on behalf of Burke's family said, The family expresses their heartfelt gratitude for the international outpouring of support they have received from all the people Sarah touched. Sarah passed away peacefully, surrounded by those she loved. In accordance with Sarah's wishes, her organs and tissues were donated to save the lives of others. To put it into perspective just what an impact Burke had on the skiing community, just listen to some of her accomplishments. Sarah was a four-time winner in the Winter X Games. She won half-pipe titles at the U.S. Open, European Open, and FIS World Championships. She's also given much of the credit for getting her sport into the 2014 Games in Sochi, Russia, where she would have been favorite to win the first ever gold medal. Bauer refers to the athletes on the U.S. ski and snowboard team as a family, and he says their family knows how to best honor Sarah's legacy. They they kind of feel like they owe it to the memory of Sarah who would be out there pushing the sport uh, at such a high level to go out there and do the same. They're going to be right back out there doing what they do best and uh, continue to do the sport that they love with the passion that uh, that she had. Now, Bob and Hope Sarah was actually scheduled to compete in the Winter Dew Tour in Vermont this weekend. Her fellow skiers learned she had passed away just minutes before today's qualifying event was supposed to begin. Tour officials canceled the qualifier out of respect to Burke and her teammates. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jer Bates, Fox 13 News.